Hi guys, this is Millennial Idol. I go by Millie. You can call me Millie or Dr. Millie, but Millie for this channel. And this is the Eat With Me channel. So this morning I'm going to be eating breakfast. I'm having a bowl of organic yogurt, plain yogurt. When you, if you are a dairy eater, then choose full fat plain yogurt because that's where all the nutrients come from. The fats are good, they're good for your brain. It has the, probi has the probiotics in it that helps to break down the saturated fat, as long as you're getting an organic, well-made dairy product. So I'm having the Maple Creamery, Maple Hill Creamery full fat yogurt, and it's plain, and if you need to add sweet to it, or if you add fruit to it, then that's where your sugar will come from. That's where your sweetener will come from. So this is my bowl of parfait that you can see. And what it is, is it's organic sliced bananas. It is um, plain yogurt, lots of plain yogurt, chia seeds, which I just um, put on underneath the yogurt. And then the yogurt will go in and it will puff up the chia seeds and the chia will turn into a pudding-like consistency. I put cocoa nibs. So if you don't know what cacao is, it's raw chocolate. So before the chocolate's been cooked, most chocolate that we have on the market is cooked chocolate, and that's when all the theobromides and the uh, caffeine-like stimulants come out. But before it's cooked, coffee is cacao chocolate, not coffee, chocolate, is uh, raw, and it tends to have high levels of magnesium. It helps with blood pressure lowering, so it can actually be a superfood. Now, chocolate does affect the mood of some people. It does give some people a really bad angry mood, so be careful of the effect that chocolate has on you. But I find cacao raw chocolate has less of a, an effect on people's moods than cooked chocolate, even the dark kind, okay? Plus there's no sugar in it, it's just raw cacao. So if you buy it like nibs, it's almost like chips. This is the kind that I'm using. The Cacao Sweet Nibs Mayan Superfood by Navitas. I don't know if that's a mirror image or if it's, um, you can see it, but I think it looks like it's a mirror image. But it's Navitas. This is the brand. <clears throat> Pardon me. And it comes in like nibs, so it looks like chips, but they're unsweetened. They're just chocolate, but they're not that bitter, especially if you mix it with fruit. Now I've sprinkled cinnamon and nutmeg on top. Those are superfood spices, good for circulation, good for blood sugar control. And also amazing for flavor. That's the great thing about spices. So this is what I'm eating this morning. So I hope you're eating breakfast with me. And we're just going to talk. We always talk about light subjects. I mean, I talk about health. And I talk about food. Because the purpose of this channel is for us to eat together. We can eat together virtually. It might seem like a silly or crazy idea, but I'm exploring it as something that I've been called to do. So I think a lot of people are eating home alone, not taking the time to sit down, eat a proper meal, maybe because we live and small containers. We live in apartments or maybe you live in a house by yourself and it's lonely to eat alone. And so, I mean, I'm actually okay with eating alone. I do cook for myself, even if it's just me, but I wanna help other people do that. Take the time to make yourself a good breakfast. Sit down, you know, eating only takes about 20 minutes. It should take about 20 minutes. You want to chew your food properly so it's a liquid by the time it goes down. Helps you with your digestion. You don't have any teeth in your stomach. You do have enzymes and hydrochloric acid. And if those enzymes are functioning well, like if you're not on acid blockers or proton pump inhibitors, then if your enzymes are working well, although the enzymes stop working well with age or with stress.
or they work inappropriately. Maybe you get heartburn when you're not eating or people who smoke. So it's really good to just sit, take time to eat. Not in front of the television. We call it the boob tube, but it raises cortisol levels. It's actually a stress box. Moving, flashing pictures, loud noises, action. Yes, we can kind of zone out and get go into a trance from it, but it doesn't facilitate digestion. In order to digest food, we need to be sitting, we need to be relaxed, we need to take time. If we're doing something else, if we're working, if we're having a stressful conversation, if we're running around, if we're watching television or our attention's occupied or we're stressed out, then the nervous system that we need in order to help us secrete our digestive juices is not on. It's our stress nervous system, our sympathetic nervous system that's on. I think how we eat is almost as important as what we eat. And there's so much crazy information about never eat bananas again and all this. If you do have really high insulin levels, if you are, if you have a fatty liver or if you have prediabetes, or if you have metabolic syndrome, which means your blood pressure is high, your cholesterol is high, your fat in the belly, you're overweight. Then you could do something called intermittent fasting, which intermittent fasting comes in different shapes and forms. You can um, avoid eating for 12 hours of the day, 12 to 16 hours of the day, and only eat within 8 to 12 hours. Chunks in the day, so like 8 a.m., eat from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., for instance, or 4 p.m. Well, that's, that's the strictest way, that's 8 hours, or from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's going to help you lose weight. But to crash your insulin levels, to lower your insulin levels, your blood sugar, it is a good idea to remove all sugar, including fruit, including fruit juice, for three-day periods. Research your hormones. It's evidence-based. There's a good book by Dr. Sarah Gottfried called The Hormone Reset. She talks about resetting different hormones with through eliminating different foods in order to reset your testosterone you eliminate all toxins and pesticides from your diet all additives all packaged foods in order to reset estrogen you go vegetarian or dairy free in order to set insulin growth factor you remove dairy, which means milk, cow milk, soy milk, coconut milk, hemp milk, oat milk, cashew milk. These are not milk. These are milk substitutes. We call them milk because they are white and we use them in place of milk, but they're not dairy. They're nut products or seed products.
We can look into each other's eyes. But it is really important for most people to remove sugar from our diet. If you start reading the labels the, of what you're eating, you see how far up near the top sugar is or dextrose or sucrose or fructose or glucose. Or even refined flour, enriched flour, white flour. It's got the same glycemic index as white bread has the same glycemic index as sugar. It's 100. It's the highest. Nothing's higher than white bread. You might hear my radiator going on. It's like 35 degrees in Brooklyn this morning. It's only October 29th. Cold. I was thinking about going to the beach today. I love going to the ocean. Not to go swimming. Just to look at the ocean and meditate. Just I don't even have to stay a long time. I just like to go there and connect. If I can, I'll take off my shoes and walk in the sand. If I can, I'll pick up my shoes and socks and walk in the ocean. Might be too cold today. If it's really windy, I don't like to go there. But there's always people at Brighton Beach. It's um, Russian, Ukrainian, Georgian people. Communities, they're up in there. There definitely will be some people bathing. Polar bear dip. Very good for your circulation, your lymphatic system, good for your, your immune system. I polar bear dipped last year on January 31st, but it wasn't a very cold day. But two friends and I, we went to a um, Russian restaurant. It was actually like a, it was actually a Russian French restaurant. The menu was pretty funny. It was strange. Very, um, War and peace. When Russia was obsessed with French culture during the Napoleon years, anyway. Um, and so we ate a really good meal. I had a shot of vodka. And then we went swimming. Or no, we went to the beach. I'm the only one that ended up going swimming. But one person videotaped it. The other person held my clothes and held my, had my towel ready. So when I ran back from the ocean, she was ready to dry me off. I was really excited because I must admit, doing a polar dip, bear dip was on my bucket list. I might do it again this year. We'll see. Not today. So if you like this channel, I ask you to please like, subscribe, share it with friends. Again, I'm trying to reach out to people who are eating alone and who can turn on a YouTube video if they want to eat a meal and be mildly or casually entertained. Turn on some music while you do it. Done. On. That took about 15 minutes, 14 minutes. So I have to sit for another five minutes. While my brain sends signals to my stomach that I'm full, because it takes about 20 minutes, although I do feel full now. It takes about 10 minutes for the sugar to go into your bloodstream, get to your brain. Your brain does rely on sugar, but it likes low, steady breakdown of sugar. 
not, you know, a Coke and a Danish or something. It really likes food that it has to break down, like you know, your stomach breaks it down through enzymatic reaction. You know, all the digestive enzymes work together to break down the proteins and the fats and the complex carbohydrates. And then there's enough sugar that gets absorbed into the bloodstream, goes to your brain and, it, and it, the brain feels satisfied. And then eventually the stimulus from your digestive tract, from your intestines, releases leptin in the brain. It releases leptin, which stimulates your brain at your fault. If you don't get that reaction, if you don't get the full reaction after 20 minutes, then it means your ghrelin is being overstimulated and your leptin is suppressed. You might have what they call leptin resistance, or you're just not sensitive to the leptin that's being released. And so you really need to work on your digestion. So you really need to have probiotics, uh, kombucha, fermented foods like uh, raw sauerkraut, always in the fridge section, or the Bubby's pickles, always in the fridge section, nothing in the vinegar aisle, nothing in the condiment aisle, because that's just vegetables and vinegar, which and white vinegar, and white vinegar is distilled. So it's sugar itself. Yeast promoting, not yeast curing, whereas the ones in the fridge uh, are superfoods that help you with your digestion, good probiotics. They don't have vinegar in them. They only have salt and microbial enzymes. So they're kind of like eating yogurt, like good healthy yogurt, not a commercial yogurt, um, but without being dairy. So I hope you like this channel. If you like it, please do like, subscribe, share with all of your friends. I am attempting to reach out to people who are eating alone who want to just be able to turn on the YouTube video and here I am eating with you. Um, if you want to check out my other stuff, then I, my website is milliesays.com. You can book an appointment with me there. I am a naturopathic doctor in New York. Or you can check out my Eating for Meaning digital nutrition program at eatingformeaning.com. I'm involved in lots of different things. I, I also have an online business um, with uh, shop.com. So I like to get cash back on everything that I buy. That's why I buy all my purchases at shop.com. So if you're interested in that, then also please do uh, let me know or go to my site. That's shop.com forward slash eating for meaning. Millie Lytle over and out. Bye. I can figure out how to turn it off.